wait for everyone to see this film. Me too. Probably the stunts. I mean, just amazing. We spent two months at the beginning of filming just working out all the fighting and the flying. It was just incredible. Yeah, definitely all the stunts that we did, especially on the Dolly Roger. That was my yeah. personal favorite. Probably just hanging out with all my friends on, uh, on set. It was just amazing. All the pranks. So much fun. Yeah, getting to have a giant I think it was like a dinner and like a slumber party at the yeah, hotel yeah. that we were yeah, yeah. staying at. That was probably was my favorite. Great fun. It's definitely a much more updated version. Uh, so Wendy is much more Peter's equal and a much yeah, more empowered true. leader. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with Alex and all the characters. I think everyone will recognize these characters that they've grown up knowing and loving, but fleshed out for a new generation. Yeah. This is the end of a long journey. You know, you have to always remember this is years of uh, prep and production and pre-production, post-production and um, yeah, it means an awful lot to finally deliver it and give it over to the audience. It's the final sort of part of the, of the puzzle really. Davey gave me the opportunity 
in the script to write a hook's past and understand why he is who he is, why he's so mean and sad and broken. And uh, for me, I just had to fill in the spaces, you know, in between. Well, this is a story that's thrilled people for over a hundred years. And I hope that they find some of that original thrill. I hope they find something relevant, resonant for now. But I hope it, you know, it exhilarates them in the same way that people were obviously exhilarated a hundred and something years ago when Jay and Barry wrote the first book. Oh, it's so exciting. I mean, it's been such a long time coming since the first time I read this script. So to be able to share this with the world, we're that much closer to a lot of people seeing it. It's so beautiful. And I think there were a lot of references that we kind of paid homage to. Of course, there are the Tinkerbells before me, um, but a lot of silent movie clips and references, even from Josephine Baker to Charlie Chaplin, that both me and David Lowry shared back and forth. And so it was um, some fine tuning on set and a, a lot of exploration on set to figure out what kind of mixture of expressions worked best for her. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's such a surreal experience being part of Disney's uh, 100th year anniversary. It's just amazing. It's a great feeling. Uh, just being with the castmates, just on set, having fun, doing what we do best. and It's, it's been an amazing experience. Probably the most favorite thing um, is probably Skull Rock. Being on the Skull Rock and seeing in the water below and leaning over the... Uh, leaving, leaning over the rock, it was just, it was amazing. It was like, wow, I'm actually really here. It's like, it's so surreal because you feel like you're inside the actual film and it's, it's amazing. Well, this is just amazing. It's an honor to be here. It was so amazing to be in Peter Pan. Well, just being with my friends or the castmates and just filming Peter Pan, that was really awesome. Well, meeting everyone, being with everyone, and just being nibs. I'm so, I'm so excited. No, excited. You have to be excited at things like this. I love it. Can you wait to see the film? You guys will love it too. I would say probably getting the role. Yeah. Yeah, pro probably that, that was like a big moment for me. I was so excited. Same, yeah. Same, yeah. Meeting everyone, like seeing everyone else work, um, watching uh, Jude Law, he like he was so inspiring to work with. Yeah. Just seeing how how, how they make the set, that's that's inspiring. And you know, like when when you're watching stuff, is like, what do you really think that they do all of that? But yeah, it's, it's cool. Oh yeah, I love the set. I loved it all. You guys would love it as well. Actually, you watching the film ridiculously excited it doesn't feel real at all it's, it's mental it's like a it's like a movie it's it, well it is a movie but it's like watching a premiere at a movie it's crazy really excited um it's it's very definitely unreal it's it just feels so crazy to be here it's amazing probably just be spending time with my family really that's ultimately my favorite thing in the world and that's just a, a nice thing isn't it that would probably be mine I would probably say the same as Joshua. Yeah. Filming on the pirate ship was amazing. Getting to uh, it was getting to work with the people. I'd say most of all, I got to work with. Uh, well, you've got to work with some of the most amazing people I've ever met, and um, yeah, just loveliest, loveliest people and lovely experiences as well. Um, me, for me, probably flying. Definitely, it was definitely crazy. I loved it. I'm so excited. This is so fun. It's like a dream come true. My sister. Um, my life. This is my happy thought. Definitely my castmates. Yeah. Uh, there were so many amazing experience, but experiences, but one of my favorite ones was visiting the First Nations um, blessing ceremony, which was amazing. Aside from the cast, getting to work on a fully functioning pirate ship is pretty much a bee's knees. Oh, it was just exceptional. Like, it was just the amount that they brought to it that I could never have conceived of was just above and beyond. I hope they just feel like they've gone on an adventure. Oh, being in a dark movie theater. That's my happy place. That's my Neverland.